Hi, the guy Ohm. Here's a comic that puts wind in my sails. To start off with, though, before we get to that, we're going to look at a little bit of contrast to the main subject. We have here Chris Ware, who it, storytelling extraordinaire. The thing, it, all the different media and layouts and colors. I mean, just flipping through this one story. You, you see a million different ways of telling a story just within this oddly shaped little comic. It, it, everything you could imagine, you know, creativity, mixing up his colors, uh, everything is super, super sharp. Look, I mean, look at the shadow on the face here, the outline, you know, light, dark. I, and then again, you have the moon over here, maybe as a contrast to that clever clever storytelling and then you look at a guy like Mark Schultz a, a guy probably from the EC school I think he knew some of those guys maybe came up with them when he was a kid he might even have worked for EC I, a little bit foggy on my Mark Schultz history but a master craftsman look at the inks and this is this is from a deal where almost like an artist edition you see some of the pencils here turn to inks um, amazing storytelling I look at this and it's almost one of those things you talk people are who are maybe musicians or whatever they hear somebody that's so much better than them and they give up it's like there's no way that I could ever accomplish what that guy accomplished why just give up because he's so good and this guy makes me feel that way a little bit I love his I, I love everything he does but it's almost like, man, what am I even doing? And that's that's the, the contrast between what we're going to look at today because you see these two guys who are virtuosos. You think, well, how how can I get published? How you know how can my how can I convince anybody to buy my scribbles? You know, to invest in what I'm doing. Well, I tell you how, and I tell you who. George Harriman with Crazy Cat. Uh, the thing I like about this guy is that he is widely considered one of the best car cartoonists ever, but his style's a rough style. It, it's sketchy, outside of the lines, you know, cartoony, all those things you could talk about, but it's so well done that it that you take all the different things and it's greater than the sum of its parts, and you put it all together and you have the best thing ever. And we'll talk about it, we'll break this down a little bit. To give you an idea that that you don't have to be some kind of master class drawer to to make good work. So right right from the start, great storytelling. You have the duck here, who introduces what the story's about. He comes down here, but in between, like very much an ABC kind of deal. And so every Crazy Cat cartoon, if you don't know Crazy Cat, the cat loves the mouse. The mouse throws bricks at the cat and the cop is always trying to get the cat or get the mouse for throwing bricks so the duck up here talks about how uh, ink is kind of evil and dumps that out of the pipe and, and then it runs out and then great this is great inventive and this isn't anything clever it's just black smeared across the thing now he does do a little bit of a highlight where you, you see the water almost like a waterfall pouring over but just black ink but he thought of it and he took time to do it so Again, every and all the characters are in motion, so the mouse is hiding in the ink, and Crazy Cat says, "Well, I'm a, I'm I'm sad because no, you know I haven't got my daily brick." Boing, Aww. you know, is happy about, you know, there. That's the funny thing. Every time he gets hit with a brick, there's a heart with it, and then immediately the cop reacts, talks about, "I've heard of all kinds of ways of hiding, but I've never heard of anybody hiding in ink," and so he fishes him out. And this is the, the one of the brilliant things about Harriman is you really have to look. And I'm pretty sure the mouse is in there because there's a little... I don't know if the camera probably can't catch it. There's a little dot for the eye and a circle for the ear. And so the the duck's like, oh, on second thought, I don't think I'll throw it away. So he you know comes back again, catches the ink. You don't see him doing it because he's running towards it. And then the cop, this little wide panel at the bottom... The cop's sleeping, and the mouse is in the ink. So it just really fun, clever storytelling. 
and again everybody is doing something and the thing also that I like what the heck is this it, it it's just some design thing that he has in the background I mean what 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 is any of this stuff it's just those flavors that that give depth and character to your work and so coming up with those things you know adds up to more to more than than the little parts of it now it would be pretty great if I could draw like Mark Schultz I, I'm working on it I probably will never get there but when I work on what I work on it makes me happy and I'm fulfilled and it feels like I'm getting better every time I do it and it's stuff like this that makes me think well maybe I can convince somebody to you know invest in my scribbles and so so that's the idea keep growing keep getting better keep looking at stuff that's gonna make you a better storyteller and let's all get published Boop.